I just realized that I am literally making myself unemployable for my future potential jobs. Let's do this. You know what? I can't do this. Like, okay, this is better. Okay, so before we jump right into today's main topic, English education in Japan, let's just take a step back and allow me to introduce myself formally. So for those of you who may not know who I am, I am a full Japanese, born and raised in Japan. And at the age of 19, despite the lack of English fluency, I made a fearful decision to go to the States for college. Got depressed a little bit, you know, just like any typical Japanese person would. And I graduated with a bachelor's degree in linguistics, came back to Japan and worked as an English learning teacher slash coach in central Tokyo. Got a perfect score on TOEIC on my first try without any pre-study. So if you would excuse me, I'd like to think that I know what I'm talking about. Rarely. So as an English learner, I've always enjoyed learning English. I basically fell in love with English. So it came pretty natural to me that I want to become an English teacher. I taught a variety of Japanese people from college students to CEOs of big companies to even like English teachers who are working in public schools. So I was basically living in my dream. But six months in or so, I hit the rock bottom. I had this huge realization that English teaching is bullshit. I know what I just said is super productive, but let me explain myself, okay? So in Japan, we tend to associate the Japanese people's English ability with the quality of English education. We often compare Japanese people's English with other Asian people's English, let's say South Koreans, and jump straight into the conclusion that Japanese people's English sucks because English education in Japan sucks. Disregarding all the linguistic factors, on TV and YouTube or just in everyday conversation, I see people paying a lot of attention to the educational system itself, having a discussion of what's wrong with the English education in Japan that is contributing to the Japanese people's deficiency in speaking English, saying it should be more natural and practical, just as if that would eventually make a drastic change in Japanese people's English. In Japan, so many people, like almost everyone, say we study English at least for six years, yet we can't speak English. Well, Crazy! But when you really sit back and rethink about that statement, you realize that's such a bullcrap. I used to say the same thing when I was in high school, so this is more of like me ranting to my past self, but you didn't study English for 6 years. What you actually did was just to take a 15 minute class of English, maybe 3 to 5 times a week, in which you didn't even pay full attention all the time, let's be honest, over the period of 6 years. Of course that's not enough, right? Like, what do you expect? Like, it's almost equivalent to saying stuff like But nobody says that, right? Nobody blames that one science teacher who didn't make you a scientist because that's not how it works. As simple as that. If you want to become a scientist, you have to work really hard, both inside and outside the classroom. If you want to become a professional athlete, you have to invest out of your private time practicing it on your own, not just your PE classes or extracurricular club activities. But when it comes to English, the blame is always put on the English teachers and the educational system. Like, I don't see the point of spending so much time having this discussion because I've never seen or heard of anyone that goes, I mastered my second language because I had this great teacher and all I did was to take his classes and do his homework. It's because language is heavily dependent on how much you immerse yourself in it and also how much you practice. It's not the matter of how good of a teacher or learning environment you get. What I've learned over the years of learning English and also seeing people around me who are like me learning English is that language inherently can't be taught by someone else in a classroom environment, whether it's by Japanese teacher or native English speaker. You cannot just implement those little fun speaking activities in the classroom where students talk with each other in their crappy English and expect them to acquire the language. If anything, classroom English teaching should be regarded just as an introduction or just another way to supplement the student's study, not the main source for their input, let alone the place for their output. Yet this whole discussion of English education should be like this or that has been going on for decades and the result is that the viewers, the students, will consume this idea that there's always something wrong with English education in Japan and thus that's the biggest cause we don't speak English. It always gives the students an excuse and room to say, well, I can't speak English because Japanese English teachers suck. When in reality, it's just that they didn't study for shit. Because the cold truth is that learning language is boring sometimes. Language learning is lonely. And on top of that, you also have to like the culture and the history of where your target language is spoken. And if you don't think that's worth it, then 
It's not for you. For me, the reason why I quit my teaching job is that I didn't find it rewarding to spend so much time trying to find reasons or motivations to learn English for someone else when they simply don't want to, just so that my company can make more profit. You know, speaking English is beneficial, you know, that's already established, but does it make it necessary for everyone? Absolutely not. Private language schools are also part of this issue. Since English teaching is a big business industry, a lot of those companies claim they figured out the best learning method and try really hard to come up with those fake reasons why you need to study English when there's no such things. And yet I have to somehow pretend that I am the one who can make other people fluent in English? Hell no. Also, not to mention, the set best method is often not the best way for the students, it's the best way for their program can be extended so they can keep milking their students. I'm not talking about my company in particular, but still I didn't want to be in the industry in general and be part of the problem. You know, it's not that I don't believe there's room for improvement in Japanese English education. I mean, it is bad, that's no brainer. You know, I do think that it can be improved and it's important. But what's also important to teach is that learning a language is extremely hard. There is no magic behind it, and it may not be meant for everybody, and that is totally okay. What they need to know is how much commitment and dedication they have to make. Instead of trying to come up with better ways of teaching English that works for every single Japanese person, we have to teach them that learning a language in a traditional classroom environment is an illusion, is a myth, so that the students won't have such unrealistic expectations for the future education system anymore and actually start working on themselves, for themselves, by capitalizing on their, you know, on the resources around them, because there is a plenty of them, you know, it's 2021. So yeah, that's all I've got to say. I know it's such an unpopular opinion, but please let me know what you guys think. Also, I'm so sorry for not uploading much recently, I guess I was having too much fun hanging out with my nephew, but anyway, motto ganbaremas. So, yeah, thank you so much, guys, for watching my video today, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace!